All right, so it's indeed a great pleasure to introduce uh, Jeng Shih's uh, dissertation defense talk today. Uh, Jeng joined us from the University of Sciences and Technology uh, in China, where he actually obtained a physics degree in condensed matter physics. Um, he came in as a theoretician. I think all the people he listed as potential future advisors at Penn were theoreticians. At least I know for sure that I was not among them. <laughs> um, uh, so he had done some work on, on density functional theory, and uh, I was sure that there was not much potential for me. Um, so then we had interactions uh, when I was teaching uh, Chemistry 521, uh, Statistic and Mechanics, and Jeng did pretty well in that course. Uh, he was one of uh, two students who earned an A+. Plus. And so something that uniquely that I remember about Jeng is that he usually was sitting there smiling. <laughs> he always had this disarming smile in his face, even when he asked really deep and thoughtful questions. Uh, so it was this smile that I remembered about him. But then came the time to interview uh, faculty. So in our department, we have this requirement that every first year student has to interview six faculty members. And we set up our appointment. Uh, I was in my office. I was waiting and waiting and waiting. And guess who did not show up? <laughs> so at that point in time, I thought, if you can't even make it to the very first appointment with your potential future advisor, this guy is not going to set his foot into my lap. <laughs> but we did end up talking uh, for a little while later that day. It was mildly productive, I thought. And then a couple, uh, a couple weeks later, Jeng stopped by, poked his head into my office, and asked me if he could join the lab. And guess what he was doing? He was smiling. <laughs> So at that point, I, I could not resist, and man, it, on this day, I'm so happy that I did not. Um, but I continued to be worried for a little while. I continued to be worried because I thought I had a theoretician with two left hands and two left feet coming into the um, mostly experimental lab and hey, probably breaking... with the two left hands? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, but you're not doing experiments. <laughs> so I was afraid that he was going to break the confocal microscope. I was worried that I wouldn't be a good advisor for someone with such strong theory talents. But I'm happy to report on this day that he did not end up breaking the confocal microscope. In fact, he did take a bunch of pretty interesting measurements, and as it turns out, many of the ongoing projects uh, that we currently have in the lab were initiated by Jane, and I'm looking forward to this talk. <laughs> 